Okay, so now that we have our movie results being passed down as props and we are seeing this in the console, we now want to create a reusable films raw component. So films raw component. And I'm going to go into components and create a new folder named films raw. And in here, create a new file index.tsx. And this is going to be a TypeScript file. So tsrfce film row like so and if i go back into my home layout i can now import this from films row and we are also going to pass down the movie results into there and i'm also going to copy again the props into the films row component what you can also do is because we are reusing the same props over and over we can export this into a type and then import that into here. But for consistency, we're just going to keep this interface as props and pass in the relevant data and types. So import movie list type again, and this is going to be the movie result like so. This is also going to be a React slick container. So I'm going to have a container in here and create a styles file. So a new file styles.tsx. And I'm going to copy once again my styles across. So I'm going to import slider from React Slick also. And then the container is going to be a div. It's going to take in a prop called add margin. And we will add the margin onto the last films row of 15 pixels at the bottom when we reach the original section so that it doesn't touch the bottom of the page. And we are going to have a width of 100 view width. So now if I import the container from the styles file like so, within the container, we are going to have the content, which is also going to be the slider from React Slick. So I am going to pass in the settings. So spread them in. And these settings are going to be responsive also. So I will just copy them across like so. So we have the settings here. We have no dots and it's not infinite. So when we reach the end, then we can only press the back arrow to go back. We're going to show four slides and scroll two each time. And we have got three breakpoints on there. I just need to move this up slightly to so after props like so. So now the settings are being passed into the content. We now need to get the content from the styles file. So we have already imported the slider. So the content will be styled.slider as we did with the slider banner component. And we are going to have a gap again of 25 pixels, a width of 89%, a margin top of 30 pixels, a display of flex, so it's in a row, and, and we want to align the items centrally. So now if I import this as well. So within each slider, we are going to get access to the props or movie results. And if that is true, then we want to map again, optional chaining. So movie results dot map for each movie. I want to implicitly return a div element. So a div and within the div, we're going to have a wrapper and the key for each wrapper will be the movie dot. And again, we can have access to the properties within the movie. So I'm going to choose the ID as the key. We also need to add this into the styles file. So if I paste this in here, this will be the styles for each movie. So the wrapper will have a margin of top and bottom of zero, 15 pixels on the left and right. We will have a border of four pixels solid, a radius of eight pixels. So it's round and overflow X, the horizontal axis here as hidden a min width for each wrapper of 200 pixels. Each wrapper will have a box shadow similar to this one here. It will also have a transition. So when we hover, it will scale in size. The border when we hover will be white and the same border radius of eight pixels. And with the image, we will have a width of 100% and a height of 100% and an object fit of cover, which means fit the image as much as possible within its container. So now if I import the wrapper also from styles and in the wrapper, I want to have an image. So the source will be the movie dot and then it will be the card image. And then the alt will be the movie dot title. And I'm also going to add loading of lazy on there as well. So we are optimizing correctly. So now if I save, we now have the images loading and the cards loading. So if I open this up, 
and we scroll as you can see the images are loading lazily so i'm just going to take that out so that we can see them and if i save again all of the images are now loading but what we are doing is we are loading the entire api so we have a list of 20 objects on the api and we want to filter out the ones on the relevant section so we only want to filter out the ones that have a certain type so in this case it should be recommend if we look at the api we want to filter out the type of recommend so if we go back into our home layout into our index file we want to pass down a category also so the category is going to be equal to a string and if i go into the api i want to filter the category as recommend for this one and now if i go into films row i will get access to the category and then i'll also need to add this into my interface so category will be a string so now that i have access to the category i want to also filter so movie results first off we want to first off dot filter so for each movie or item, I will call this one, I want to filter out the item that is equal to the category. So item dot type. So in the API it is type is equal to the category that we are passing in. So for this example, it will be the recommend type that we will pass through. So we should have Miss Marvel in there and we should have only four or five wrappers in there so if i go into my local host and now press save all as you can see now the data has changed and the slides have changed so we now have only four on here so now that we have created the films row all we need to do now is render that out a few more times on the home page layout so if i delete the comments and then i'm just going to copy this and paste it under each title like so so each title has a relevant films row and then the category is the only thing that needs changing so for the second row the category name or type would be trending so this one will be trending for new it will be new and then if we find an original if i now save and go back into my local host i now have all the categories rendering on the page so at the bottom now we need to add the margin so the last item so the last films row i'm going to put add margin as the boolean value and the prop so if i copy this and go into my films row and paste that in we also need to paste it in here as a boolean value and this will cause an error if i save all so on the container if i put add margin is equal to add margin like so and I go back into here. I now have an error saying add margin is missing in type movie results. So what I need to do now is go into the films row. And because this is an optional prop, I'm going to put in the question mark like so. And that will mean that it is an optional prop. So we don't have to pass it in always. So now if I save, that should add the margin at the bottom, which it has done. There's a little margin now. And if we test the films row out it is working correctly what we now need to do is render out the links for each film row item so within here within each wrapper i'm going to have the link tag wrapped around it and close the link off as well like so so if we import this from next link and it's going to have a href of forward slash movies slash movie id so the id of each movie that we have if we click through we should get the relevant page so if i now save i should now be able to go through to each of these and go through to the page so slash movies slash three would be the simpsons but because the page is not yet built we would get nothing on there so what i need to do now is to create the page so if i press back we have the home page and the individual films rendering and linking to the correct pages all we need to do now is to create these pages so if i go into pages i have my api folder here i'm just going to create a new folder in here so we have a directory of forward slash movies slash movie id 
So similar to how we did the API, I'm going to create a movies folder. And in here, I'm going to create a file, a wildcard file. So array brackets ID, close the brackets dot TSX like so. So now if we do TS or FCE, and I'm going to name this movie information. And now in here, we're going to have an interface and pass down some data that we will fetch from the API individual endpoint source slash API slash movies slash seven. And we will do this with incremental static regeneration.